So in yesterday's video, I talked about, I'm going to Columbus. I signed in Columbus with the River Dragons and the FPHL. I wanted to expand a little bit on that because right now is a very difficult time for me. All the guys in junior, all the guys in college, all the, basically everybody that's not playing semi minor league pro right now is with the team. And so there's very limited resources as far as getting skates together and guys to skate with. So right now, the only skates that I'm really doing is skating with one of my buddies, which I'll show you the skate after we talk about this in the Q and A, who's also trying for the same league in the FPHL or in the FHL, I should say. And so we just go to stick and pox, we work on some stuff. And that's about the only ice I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm flying to London in about two, two and a half weeks to skate with Steve McKeegan. He's the former goalie coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. But outside of that, from now until camp in about three, three and a half weeks, I'm gonna be moving my entire life 3,000 kilometers away from Winnipeg to Columbus, Georgia, my entire life putting it on hold, moving it out there to a league that I don't know much about, to a team I don't know much about because it's a brand new expansion team in a place I've never been, the league that, I'll be honest, I haven't even seen a game. I signed with Columbus after my Alabama camp. The GM was kind of undercover as a player at the Alabama camp. Funny enough, he actually sat beside me in the locker room during our camp. Yeah. I ended up getting signed out of that. And I signed it on the condition that it was my backup plan, that I wanted to try collegiate level hockey first. GM and management were very understanding of that and they totally supported me on that. But now that collegiate hockey has not worked out and this is my go-to option, I'm hoping that this works out because I'm putting everything into this last opportunity. I'm trying to convince myself that this is a great idea and this is all gonna work out. Who knows, by the time this video uploads, maybe things are going great, but I don't know that. I would like to do a Q&A uh, that we've done every single video for the last while, get some great questions. And then after that, I wanna throw it back to the ice time that I was just showing you because I haven't shown you uh, any shooting, any drills and that kind of stuff, just moving, so. Kyle underscore hockey goalie 88, favorite pregame meal. I love uh, a good rice, chicken dish, pasta chicken, a lot of veggies. I hate vegetables, but you gotta have them. Charlie Lund six, how many teams have wanted you to play for them in your lifetime? None, to be honest with you. Everything that I've gotten is just opportunities where I've called teams, I've emailed teams, I've tried to sell myself to them. I mean, in a sense, I guess this Columbus opportunity I was asked to be signed with the GM, so I guess this is the first time I've actually been asked to sign somewhere. Liam underscore Kingston 14, favorite part about being a goalie. I love stopping pucks, I love hanging around the rink with the guys, I love making these videos. This is another one of my passions. Gear is awesome. So many positives about goaltending, I don't even know where to begin. Matt Cusalito, why don't your legs close all the way when you're going down into your butterfly? There's a thing called a narrow butterfly, pioneered by J.S. Jagir, Jonas Hiller, guys like that. Narrow butterfly doesn't look sexy, but especially for a big guy having a lot more wingspan, a lot more coverage in the pad itself, a narrow butterfly allows you to have better rebound control with the pad being like this, pucks come off it, they go to the corner. I like to control my rebounds better that way. Trevor Agnew 31, will you push out hockey for as long as you can or start to focus on school? Focusing on school. What goes through your mind when training? How do I get myself better? How can I take what I'm doing right now and improve on that? Aiden.le5, do you plan on going into coaching of any kind? No, uh, I like playing the game. I love making these videos. I find coaching is a very corporate propaganda industry. Most of the goalie coaches on Instagram or online, I don't want it to have anything to do with that. Jay Wright 0029, how the guck are you so tall? I think it's a typo there but I'm six foot five and I don't know genetics my dad's like six foot five Nolan underscore Rasmussen underscore favorite hockey movie what are you doing? Come on, <laughs> Dune is hands down my favorite movie my goalie life 31 who's your biggest inspiration growing up Jose Theodore was a big inspiration of mine obviously my dad kind of motivating me to wanting to be successful in life I get a lot of my drive uh, in sport and life from him. Kevin Carney underscore 20 is goaltending hard. Goaltending is very difficult. The amount of focus it entails, people don't appreciate it. And until you've been at the game and you've played at a remotely high level, I don't think anybody really will understand. So yes, easy to do, hard to do well. Jace Roman, what do you think of the show Letter Kenny? You drove down to Buffalo to watch Leafs play and sure gas is cheap, but fuck, they don't even have all dressed chips in that shithole. 
Great show. John Blouch, how much soda slash junk food do you consume? Uh, I try to avoid junk food at all costs. I'm a huge ginger ale guy. Somebody wants to send me a two liter ginger ale. Schweppes for Canada Dry, I don't really discriminate. I would love that. 28 underscore Colby Sieves, how old are you? Uh, I was born on June 24th in 1996. I'm 23 years old and I turned 23 this past June. So I'll be turning 24 in nine months from now. Luke Much 55, what's your favorite thing to eat and drink before a game or ice time? Uh, just answer the food part. Coffee before a game is fantastic. And water, obviously, you gotta have water. Have you ever scored? No, but I would love to try. I've actually never had an opportunity to get the puck on my stick with the empty net up by a goal. Very confident that I would nail it. I work on that quite a bit, to be honest. My puck handling, my shooting, take a lot of pride in my puck handling. Luke underscore Clark 50, would you come play in any of the English leagues of ass? Trying to keep the career going. I don't want to work a real job anytime soon. English league, German league, I don't really care. Just want to keep playing the game. Final question of the day, Luke Barterder. -er. Uh, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? Probably about five to 10 years older. That concludes the Q and A, off to the ice time. Fact be known, Rockin' in the USA is actually named after SidelineSwap.com. It's a song dedicated to the website itself. How is that? Well, Sideline Swap is a place where you can buy pro return new and used sport equipment online. I highly recommend you go to the website. Uh, probably need a copyright because I just use this song. So go to the website, help me pay that copyright strike off, and I'll see you in the next video.